What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fish O'Clock. I'm John Jariah, In today's episode, we're gonna be catching monster carp out at Perdinalis Falls State Park. And I'm gonna be trying a few different baits. I've got corn, I've got oatmeal, I've got magic bait strawberry. This is just some cheap Walmart bait. And I'm gonna show you guys how to catch these carp. So for this video, we're gonna be heading to Perdinalis Falls State Park in Blanco County, east of Johnson City in Texas. The park features 5,000 acres of land surrounding the Perdinalis River in the hill country. This spring-fed river features all your favorite fish, bass, bluegill, catfish, carp. If you're gonna fish here, you need to know that there is quite a hike to get down to the fishing spot. So pack light and pack lots of water. When you exit the parking lot and enter the trailhead, you'll see numerous signs warning that the upper river is closed for swimming and to be aware for flash flooding. When you finally reach the scenic overlook, you'll realize just why the park is so popular. But before we get to fishing, we'll need to locate the fish. And with the state park being nearly 5,000 acres, there's a lot of ground to cover. I started my search on the upper part of the river looking into the deep yeah, holes, deep. nooks, and crevices to see if there are any signs of fish. I even dropped my underwater camera down and only saw a bluegill. However, it was a really nice hike and my kids did really enjoy it. Yeah. Can I drink water out of here? Um, I still wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. But alas, we finally found our fishing spot. I located a larger pool of water towards the lower section of the river. I noticed that the water was deeper, a bit cooler, and had a nice light current flowing through it. In addition, the bottom was made of some hard substrate indicating the presence of aquatic vegetation, which carp love. So I set up shop and we get ready to start fishing. All right, so I'm gonna be trying two different baits today. So the first bait is the tried and true way to catch carp, which is the classic corn. Now this has worked very well for me in the past here at Perdinalis Falls State Park. I'm also gonna be trying something a little bit new today. I know a lot of people really like this magic bait stuff that they sell at Walmart. Um, I don't know if I'm a big fan of it yet because I haven't fished with it. So I'm gonna try this out, see if it works. Uh, make this video into a little experiment. Um, now, what I usually use in terms of the rigs is I use uh, just a classic Carolina rig or a slip sinker rig and I put a pretty heavy weight on it. This is a two ounce right here. Um, that, that heavier weight just allows me to throw this really far into the river. So the key I think to catching really big carp here is to make sure that you throw it way out there. So the big carp are actually kind of not really in the middle, but actually a little bit further out than the middle. Um, but if you can throw it way out there, there's a good chance you'll catch a big one. So now what I'll be doing with the oatmeal is I'll be using the oatmeal as an attractant. And I'll just pop this real quick. Put my trash away, I don't wanna litter. And what I do is I grab a big handful of oatmeal and I just wet it a little bit. I'll show you guys. When I wet it, I kind of squeeze it in my hands, get it real tight. And I'll take this oatmeal and I'll ball it up right around this weight. So the carp, they'll actually come and they'll eat this oatmeal and it's got a good scent to it. So you see, I make a nice firm ball with it right here. It's a great firm ball of oatmeal. Yeah, that looks good. This also adds a good amount of weight to it too. So see here, it's balled up real nicely. And I'll put the corn on the other end.
And what I like to do is to sometimes take a handful of the corn and I just kind of throw it out there and that just gets them, they can smell it and brings them in a little bit closer. Um, so yeah, um, now for the hook, I like these, these are pre-snelled Eagle Claw hooks size six. So you do have to use a pretty small hook, surprisingly. Um, carp, they grow to be really, really large, but their mouths are still fairly small in comparison to their size. So I always use the smaller hooks and I've been able to catch them pretty well that way. Um, and I just kind of thread this corn right through there and Okay, once I have the hook completely covered in corn, and yeah, some of this may fling off when I throw it, but you wanna to try to put as much on there. Now we're ready to uh, chunk it out there. Um, sometimes you can even get in the water a little bit just to get more distance. It's really cold right now, woo! Yeah, there we go. That was, that was quite the cast right there, woo! I do the same thing for my other pole using the Walmart Magic Bait strawberry flavored carp bait. I don't have a lot of faith that this is going to work, but I just wanted to try something new and it was only like three or four bucks. And it wasn't very long until we saw some action for ourselves. No, do not do that. Ah, oh, there he goes, damn! So we may have lost the first fish, but there was plenty more to come. Damn, damn. that is very far. Okay, can I roll the swim line? Oh, there. Look. And before I even know it, this one. the rod is showing me signs I that just there's saw a this fish one on twitch. it. Oh, I let my son have this one. Mm -hmm. And it's a pretty big one, I'm gonna get in the judging water. by oh, just yeah. how he's fighting this monster. Pull him in, pull him in, pull him in. Pull him in. So grab that little, uh, grab that red tool right there. Yeah. Wow. Look at the size of it. What? Wow, good job. I wanna see it. That is quite the fish right here. Nine pounds. Woo! Holy cow. All right, let's let him go. Ah! Yeah, Dad, don't do this. All right, there he goes. And right. for the remainder we got, of the we trip, fish on. we were catching fish after fish after fish. I let my youngest son go ahead and take it from here. Ah. He was having an absolute blast reeling these massive carp in. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, a little bit more. Pounder, Luke. Four pounder. Huge. Oh. In total, I think we caught about six carp. They were between two pounds and the largest was nine pounds. Look at that. That's a good one right there. Now, I did give up on the magic bait and I used the corn and oatmeal exclusively. Uh, the magic bait did not work here. All right, guys, it's been a few hours out here at Perdinalis Falls State Park. Um, kids are a bit tired and I'm a bit exhausted. We've caught quite a bit of carp. Um, I think the largest was about 26 inches and 9.2 pounds. So pretty much a monster carp. Um, we had a lot of fun out here. Um, if you're out here at Perdinalis Falls, uh, please remember to uh, be courteous to others and pick up your trash. This is a state park. This is one of the, the most beautiful state parks that we have in Central Texas. So uh, please remember to be respectful and courteous. Um, again, if you like my videos, please remember uh, to hit the like button. Comment below if you have any more tips on how to catch monster carp. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys on the next one.